Well, everyone, you might be wanting to go ahead and convert your Android phone into stock Android. Now, doing this is actually very easy, and it really doesn't take that much time at all. We're going to be using Nova Launcher, which is a beautiful application that is probably one of the more popular applications on Android. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your Play Store just like so, and we're going to search up Nova Launcher. I think a majority of you probably know this by now, and this is basically the closest we can get to stock Android without having to custom ROM any of our phones and anything. This app has over 50 million downloads as well. So search up Nova Launcher just like how I did, and that is it. Now all we have to do when it's installed, we just have to go and click on open, and it'll go ahead and open us into the Nova Launcher prompt. And from here we can go ahead and set up our actual you know, phone. Now you can turn on light mode or dark whenever you want, you can go and turn on these colors as well. But what we want to do is we can convert our icons from the One UI icons to the Nova icons which are more Android-like. We can go and change the app icon size as well. We're going to keep these as you know what they normally are. And realistically, I don't really kind of you know mess with too much. But what I do here as I scroll down and I go and click OK, and that is pretty much it. Now when you do that, you'll basically come into this prompt. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start you know customizing the specific launcher. So we can go and hold it down and we can go and get into some things at the bottom. We also have all these somewhat stock type of Android widgets too, which are really cool. So if we want to get this analog clock, some of these things are pretty much stock as you most of you know. You can also click on wallpapers and we can convert our wallpaper in the background to something that may be a little bit better for us. You can always change the wallpaper to whatever else you want. We'll go and set this up as normally as these ones. We can go and hop back in here, and now what we can do is click on the Nova settings that are on the top right corner, and there are so many things we can go and convert. Now if we look at stock Android, which I have right here on my Pixel 6a, you can see that immediately, you can see right here, there's already starting to become a lot of similarity, especially with these app icons, which I really like. Now we can see on stock Android, they have circular icons. So what we can do is we can make our way over to our Nova launcher back right here. We can go ahead and find the look and feel option, so we can click there. We can change where our search bar is, the page indicator, we can add icons to the home screen if we want to, and there's a lot of other things we can go and customize here as well. Now if we go back into icon layout, you can see we can go and change a lot of other things within our icons as well, which is really cool, including our actual size. Scrolling back out here, we can change our app drawer, we can change our you know folders, the look and feel as well, the app animations we can go and change up, the icon style, we can go and click here and change these from you know more like that to more like a circular icon, which is more like stock Android. And we have tons of different capability. If you look up online for Nova Launcher, you know, setups and everything, there are so many different things we can go and modify, it's not even funny. And this is definitely one of the cooler things you can do on your Android phone since we can go ahead and install tons of different launchers. So in my opinion, this is definitely something I would recommend looking at. So in my opinion, this is definitely something I would recommend looking at. If you want to convert your Android to feel more like a stock Android device, this is definitely the way you want to go. So that is pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.